Welcome to World News. The content of the briefing includes Alibaba-backed LiDAR, Maker RoboSense dips in Hong Kong debut. Shares in Asia mixed as Fed rate cut bets trimmed, markets wrap. China top sportswear maker Li Ning slumps anew to start 2024. China says Myanmar handed over 41,000 scam suspects last year. China logistics market turns cold in sign of real estate gloom. Alibaba-backed LiDAR, Maker RoboSense dips in Hong Kong debut. Nikkei Asia. RoboSense, a LiDAR sensor manufacturer backed by Alibaba, has seen its shares drop 2.09% on their first day of trading in Hong Kong. The company raised 985 million Hong Kong dollars, 126 million dollars, in an initial public offering, which valued the firm at 19 billion Hong Kong dollars. LiDAR technology, which uses lasers to detect objects, is being used less by automakers as it is relatively expensive compared to alternatives such as cameras. The price of shares in LiDAR manufacturers has dropped significantly recently, and some have gone bankrupt. Shares in Asia mixed as Fed rate cut bets trimmed, markets wrap. Yahoo! China top sportswear maker Li Ning slumps anew to start 2024. Bloomberg, Li Ning, China's leading sports apparel maker, had a rough 2023, ending the year as the worst performer on Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index with a 69% drop in share price. The company has continued to struggle in 2024, with shares falling another 10%. The poor performance is attributed to intensifying competition from brands like Step and Anta, as well as weak consumer demand. Li Ning's peers have also fared poorly, with Anta down 6.3% and Step falling 14%. However, there is still hope for Li Ning, with Citigroup analysts highlighting healthy channel inventories and the company's plans to offer cheaper footwear products to penetrate low-tier markets. Investors remain bearish, however, and expect the stock to continue to face downward pressure in the short term. China says Myanmar handed over 41,000 scam suspects last year. Bloomberg China has transferred 41,000 suspects involved in telecommunication scams to Myanmar, as part of its crackdown on illegal industries that have siphoned billions of dollars from victims. The number of transfers has increased by 10,000 since November. In addition, China arrested 79,000 suspects involved in illegal businesses related to cross-border scams. China has dispatched anti-scam task forces to work with authorities in countries including Thailand and the Philippines, and has arrested over 3,000 suspects. Despite calling for peace in Myanmar, China will continue to fight against scams, according to the Ministry of Public Security. Myanmar junta forces in Lakai surrender to MNDAA, reports claim. Diplomat. The Myanmar military's regional operations command in Lakai has reportedly surrendered to the Myanmar National Defense Alliance Army, MNDAA, marking a potential turning point in the nationwide civil war. While the reports have not been confirmed by the MNDAA, the armed group has made rapid gains across northern Shan state since launching an offensive in late October. The MNDAA's goal is to take back control of Kokong, which it ruled prior to 2009. The reports coincided with the news that an artillery shell from Myanmar had fallen across the border in China's Yunnan province, causing injuries. Tesla trumps BYD in China sales efficiency with real-time strategy. Yahoo! Pioneering EV manufacturer Tesla is reportedly maintaining its sales lead in China, the world's largest auto market. The company's real-time monitoring of its sales staff has helped it solidify its position there, with the US automaker selling more than 1,500 EVs in each of its Chinese stores on average in the first 10 months of 2023, up from 1,300 in 2022, data from China Merchants Bank International showed. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making.
Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.